Attleboro Superintendent of Schools Pia Durkin recently named the recipients of this year's Excellence Awards presented by the Massachusetts Association of School Superintendents. The award recognizes students who show leadership, character, and academic excellence. Students Morgan Martini and Jonathan Guyra were presented with the awards at a recent school committee meeting. They spoke with AACS about what the award means to them. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. If I can ask um, John Guyra and Jonathan Guyra and Morgan Martini to please come up. The two students who are this year's recipients just sit um, of the Massachusetts Association of School Superintendents Excellence Award. And I want to share a little bit about these two incredibly great kids, if I may say it. But I want to talk a little bit about each of them individually. Um, they are quite um, amazing. They've had many amazing accomplishments. And first I'll speak about Morgan Mar Martini. Morgan, um, I am Dr. Pia Durkin, and I am the superintendent of Attleboro Public Schools. Last week, on November 19th, um, I was privileged to give two very fine seniors of our class of 2013 uh, the award from the Massachusetts Association for School Superintendents. This is an award that the organization of over 350 superintendents sponsors um, to be able to share with students who represent leadership, character, as well as academics. And it is the award that I find um, most heart-wrenching because it typifies for me what leadership is about and what giving back is about to Attleboro High School. So I was delighted for the seventh year in a row to be able to give this award out to two very well-deserving students. Each district is given uh, a number of awards by the number of students they have at their high school. And Attleboro, with 1,800 students, is given two awards. And it is ultimately up to the superintendent with the high school principal to design that process. Initially, it was very much focused on academic achievement, which I think is extremely important. And we want our students to accept the award if, and the fact that they have really sustained academic excellence. But we've shifted that over the past few years where I've asked for the principal with the guidance department and his team of advisors to nominate um, students to me that not only represent high academic excellence but also represent character, leadership, and contributions to the school itself which for me then reflect on how they will contribute to the world at large. I think um, what Morgan has done with Special Olympics and what Jonathan has done with the Student Council represents um, a slice of leadership that they've shown in their high school years that would be very beneficial for them to demonstrate as they apply to college and as they go on to college. Um, any type of recognition in your senior year helps you, as I call it, get into the right pile for the colleges that you would like to spend your next four years at. Um, though that's almost a byproduct of it. I also think it reflects for them as they go into college um, what they represented for Attleboro High School and carry that with them in their college years. Um, I'm Morgan Martini and I'm a senior at Attleboro High School. I think it's important to take AP classes because it really helps you to get prepared for college and it's also a very nice environment. I love that you stay in the class for the whole year. You get to know the teacher better, you get to know the students better you learn a lot and there's not that there's not always an incentive but more of the incentive because of the test at the end you really work hard to learn everything and keep it in your mind for the test at the end of the year I've done um, Special Olympics um, I do unified sports which is regular ed and special ed coming together doing sports and it's really fun we do um, I've done basketball and volleyball but they also have like bowling and track and football and soccer and a bunch of sports and baseball. I would definitely say get involved, do clubs, do sports, do what makes you happy. Um, I would say take APs because I'd say pretty much everybody can do it. You get help if it's hard, like if it's hard for you, you can get help. Work hard in high school, enjoy it, make friends because you only go through it once. Since freshman year I've been an active member of the student council and class council. Right now I'm serving as the senior class vice president and I'm also the student council president. The AP classes definitely is better, like not only for like your college wise, like the applications, but like for yourself. 
it was with the AP bio class sophomore year that I really enjoyed bio and I knew I wanted to go into that. And then up until this year, I thought I was going to major something in biology. But after taking computer science, I like computer science now. So now I'm trying to mingle the two together. Doing extracurricular activities, like it helps you with the colleges, but it can also like help you be like a better person. Um, with me, student council has allowed me to do that. Serving like on the executive board since my sophomore year, like I was able to gain leadership skills and comfortable talking in front of people. And you never know like what you learn in high school is gonna um, contribute in like your later life. My advice to the underclassmen and the incoming like middle schoolers is take challenging classes, take AP classes, take honors classes, challenge yourself. The college is like that and you'll get a rewarding experience out of it. Then do extracurricular activities. Be involved. Colleges also like to see that. And not only is it for the colleges, but you also develop a different group of friends that like you grew up with. Like that's good. You can contribute to the community and like the high school offers a bunch of like different sports, different clubs and there's a ton of things to get involved in.